Hey, hey, good morning. It's uh, it's early. It's almost 6.30. I got up about 6 today, which is when I usually want to get up, but I usually don't. <laughs> so since I'm up early, I saw that our girl uploaded another video. It's another mukbang, according to her, but she also has a weigh-in, which I'm pretty excited to see if she's lost any weight, um, to be honest. I, I really hope she has. Although, with the kind of plan that she's on right now, she may not have. I, I, I just hope she hasn't gained. I hope she's still out of the 500s. I really do. Um, but all of these mukbangs lately, I think that's going to hurt her channel right now more than help it because that's the only thing she's doing is uploading her eating and talking and there's there's a lot of people out there that get triggered by watching people eat or just don't like hearing the sound of people chewing <laughs> um <clears throat> so she's going to lose those views i don't i don't know what her plan is she says she has some things in the works and i hope they're i I hope they're good, you know, to get us past this mukbang era that we're seem to be in right now. Um, the live stream era was pretty bad, but I don't know about this. I don't know if this is going to help or hurt. So let's, uh, I guess let's take a look and see, you know, as, as always, I'll try to edit out her chewing where I can. And hey guys, welcome to a new video. Okay, so today we have... That's a huge lasagna. plate of lasagna. I'm so excited. I hope this doesn't slide off. I'm probably just going to put this down. Um. Those, those square plates of hers are pretty big. I don't think this is really that much a trick of the camera with it being close to the camera. That's a, that's a big plate. I hope she doesn't... I mean, she can eat it all, if, but I hope she doesn't soon also some diet coke i usually have caffeine free but today we do not have caffeine free her makeup looks pretty so today in this video you i'm going to makeup. talk to you guys about my weight because so many of you are like curious like okay so you're an outpatient is it helping with weight loss like naturally but of course there's some She's going to dip her arm back here, I have a feeling. She needs to just put the plate down. Because <laughs> trying to reach over to eat, that just seems super awkward. I mean, it's it's okay. We don't need to have your food right in our faces. We really don't. In fact, I think most of us would prefer that we didn't. People who think I've gained a lot of weight. So I'm here to answer those questions for you guys. But let's dive into this. Left so good. Lasagna is a lot like leftover chili. I think we just heard Wifey clearing her throat back there. Ooh. It always tastes better. Oh my god, this is so good. She really has to like watch herself in that viewfinder eat, doesn't she? She is just so into herself it seems i mean just like watching herself constantly eat in the viewfinder i i don't know i'm so cheesy so this is just like it's a creamy tomato i need to uh take a break here to take some sinus medicine that i for some reason can't get to pop out of the blister pack so i don't know guys this is yeah, there she is watching herself again, looking at the viewfinder, watching herself take a drink of sodi. I don't know if that would be considered narcissism, where she's constantly looking at herself and preening. I'm not sure if that's quite a, quite a symptom of narcissism or not. I'll have to look that up. As you guys know, with my recovery, um, they don't want me to count calories. They don't want me to like think of losing weight. Yes. They said that it might happen naturally. And if I was someone of like a normal size or even just like 50 pounds overweight, it's like, okay, fine, I get that. But at my size, Sorry, like, I, I had feel an like alarm I need set. to actively be losing weight, but I've been trying to ignore that side of me. 
we've discussed this before multiple times. Each, each time she brings this up, she cannot lose weight until the binge eating gets addressed and she fixes her relationship with food. They need to figure out why she binges and they're trying to help her realize, I think what they're doing right now, this is just my opinion, is they're trying to get her to see that she can eat normally and maybe still lose weight. She may not drop 10 or 15 pounds a week, but if she weighs in and sees that she has lost maybe five, six pounds, seven, eight pounds, I mean, she's been doing this since the beginning of March. I mean, so we're almost a month now. If she's lost 10 pounds this month, I would consider that a good thing if she hasn't binged the entire month because she's eating just normally. That would be awesome. So the psychologist and the dietitian, what I think they're doing, this is just my opinion, is they're trying to get her to eat normally. And if she does binge, try to figure out what caused that binge. Because if her binging is solely due to her restricting herself, then that can be fixed by her just not restricting herself, say she can't have this or that. She can have a little here and there. She can eat normally. But if it's something, you know, some some chemical imbalance causing the binge eating disorder and there's no rhyme or reason to it, then she can go on medication to help with that. Because it's like, I've always tried to lose. I'm, I fail at it every single time. You guys yeah, that. because because you get too caught up in the numbers, the calories, the I restriction. is get help for an eating disorder. That's one thing I haven't done that I'm doing. So I really wanted to do what they told me to do. So for the most part, like... So I caught there that she said, I wanted. I'm wondering if she's going to quit this program. Did you catch that? They told me to do. So for the most part... For the most part. Like, obviously, I'm not perfect. For the most part, I have been trying certain things they tell me to do. Not everything, obviously. They said that's very normal. Mm-hmm. What are you not trying? So have I binged since starting? Yes. Oh, really? Just recently I have. Are these binges that you guys see me do in these videos? No, 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 no. I would never. I would never, could never. Um, Not in a YouTube video. Okay, I'm going to put this down now. If you guys saw what actually held up this plate, (laughs) you guys would die. I might tell you guys one day, but you would die. Trust me. You guys would never be able to guess it, like, ever. I would say it was Becky's rings, the box for that, but you sold those. So now as far as her having a binge recently, what caused that binge will be what they're going to try to get to the root of is why did she binge? And they're, you, you know, she's she will always have an issue when it comes to binging always always if she really has binge eating disorder she'll always have that desire what i believe what they will try to help her do is find other ways to cope with whatever is causing her to want to binge she needs to she needs to just stick with it and see this through that's actually really funny but what was i even saying i don't remember why don't you watch yourself chew some more so I don't want to go like too much into detail about the program or anything like that. I mainly just wanted to give you guys like a little weight loss update. I'm going to put that in right here. Okay, good. All right, let's see it. Come on. Oh, we're back in the fives. Hmm. So she was back down to what, like 492 or something? So as you can see, I am maintaining. So I've No, 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 no. I know that you had lost weight. You were down, I think, 10 pounds. Where I have stopped gaining, which is really good because the constant binging is what was causing the weight gain. I know she was down to like 495 again or in the in the low four four ninety. We have reached a point where I'm maintaining. 
So this means I'm still drastically overeating, which is which is where weight loss comes in. Which At least is you where recognize portion that. control comes in, which is where all that comes in. But it's like mixing that with recovery from <laughs> eating disorders rough. It's hard and it's confusing. But um, I think that in my next appointment, okay, I am going to be extremely honest. Have you not been honest up till now? Weight loss. I need to lose weight. I need to weekly be seeing pounds drop off of me because that is just as important as my eating disorder. My weight loss is for my health, uh, for my mental health, my physical health. The binge eating disorder is part of your mental health as well. You have to fix one before you can do the other. I, I need it to happen. And I'm currently in a sticky situation where I'm like, if they don't take weight loss seriously for me, what do I do? You just stick with the program. What do I do? Look, if she wants to lose weight so badly, then she can eat regular sized portions. She says she's still drastically overeating. They're not telling her to overeat. They're telling her to just eat normally, to just eat. Don't be like, I can't have this. I can't have that. You know, she's been showing herself in videos, eating and being like, oh, I'm full. Is she coming back five minutes later and finishing it off? So I don't, I don't understand. I, I really don't. Um, at her size, it should be easier to lose weight if you're eating a 2,000 calorie diet, which is like maintenance for most people. She should be able to lose weight at her size. So I know that if she makes things at home, it'll have fewer calories. And it's not like she has anything else to do all day. Because <laughs> this lasagna here, I think she showed it in one of her last hauls, is a pre-made like oven bake um, lasagna. They could probably make it healthier and fewer calories if they made it at home, if they like cooked together and like made dinner together in the evening, she and wifey. Even like the pizzas that she buys, like I'll buy pizza pop in the oven too because it's cheaper than ordering Domino's or something. But for the pizzas that I can buy at the store, it's like 360 calories for a sixth of the pizza or a fourth, depending on, on the pizza. Whereas the pizza that I order from Domino's is like 150 calories per slice for the pizza that I usually get. Maybe 180, but it's like I could order from Domino's and have it have fewer calories than what I'm getting from the store. Plus, you don't have all the sodium with the prepackaged foods. Now, I know I am not one to talk about prepackaged foods because I eat them a lot too, because it's convenient for me, because I just don't have the time and energy to cook dinner every single night. So, I mean, it's a little, little hypocritical of me. But Amber Lynn can make content out of that for her YouTube channel. She could show her cooking dinner that isn't spam, which has a ton of sodium in it, which is going to, you know, make her retain water. I don't know what the disconnect is in her head. It's like now that she's getting this help, she's hyper focused on losing weight. I don't know where is everybody's told her before. I mean, even the even the bariatric surgeons, you know, the weight loss doctors have told her, you need to see a site psychologist because we need to get the binge eating order taken care of first otherwise having 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 a bypass or a sleeve she's gonna pop that sucker immediately the first time she tries to binge um i will say that i appreciate her honesty if she is being honest with her struggles i think a lot of people can relate to that and i think where she lost people in the last several years was when they started noticing her lying and her inconsistencies, which is like stupid little stuff. And then the live stream era, people didn't like how she treated her audience or Becky on the live streams. So 
I think a lot of people do still find her relatable because it's hard to lose weight. I mean, I'm struggling with it as well. So it's very relatable to have someone be open and honest about it if she is being open and honest. And I feel bad that I have to add that qualifier because she has lied about things so much in the past. I don't know. We'll see. I honestly love my psychologist so much. That's good. Incredible. Uh, tomorrow's my sixth appointment with her. So is it the dietitian you're having issues I've with? Already had, well, I've had five full complete ones. <clears throat> that have been hard. Oh, I just got a, um, a review on my cameos. You guys, I've been loving making cameos for you guys, and you guys give me the sweetest reviews on there. It means the world to me. I'm going to have so to look at her cameo, cameo reviews. Cameo you, link down below. I've been loving it. It's been so much fun. I just appreciate you guys so much. Look at all that. Oh, okay. So maybe the plate wasn't completely That's full. That's a lasagna for the gods. But, um, yeah. So only half the plate, I guess, had a lasagna. That's just like my little update on that. I don't want you guys to think I'm over here, like, gaining weight and stuff. That's definitely not it. If I was have. gaining weight... I need to find... Like, actively gaining weight. I need to find her clip of her last weigh-in, the last time she showed us how much she weighed. So, I would like to say, on a good note, I did weigh myself today. I haven't exactly been wanting to weigh myself a lot, but I figured... I know I'm trying to recover from an eating disorder, but I'm also trying to actively lose weight. So, two and two together kind of is hard, but I feel like with me trying to eat normally weight loss is gonna happen to an extent so i did by myself today and i'm 495.0 on the dot from trying to recover i'd have to call it quits because i'm not trying to gain weight i'm trying to lose weight i'm not trying to maintain i'm trying to lose it's confusing if you guys have any advice on someone who used to be in my uh, situation like someone who was super morbidly obese trying to recover while they were able to recover and lose weight like I know Jordan Shranks is a really good example she was never mine she needs to watch Beatrice Caruso as well I mean B isn't her size but but B struggled with binge eating as well and she started seeing a therapist and she's learning how to cope with that very well you know but it took her you know, a year of struggling with it until she finally started seeing a therapist for it to get to the root of the issue. And it's taken some work. You know, it's it's taken a couple of months, but she had to focus completely on her mental health and and fixing fixing that. <laughs> I just had a message from a friend that sent me a message on Facebook saying that she broke through and she's no longer obese. She was really struggling to get past that benchmark of weight to get into the normal weight. So I'm super happy for her for that. If you watch this, which I doubt you will, I'm so happy for you. I love you. Yeah, she needs to maybe watch Beatrice and kind of also see Beatrice's struggle. Um, everybody loves Beatrice, so I don't know why she, <laughs> you know, I've, I've said it a million times. I'm just beating a dead horse now. My size but she did have really bad binge she started counting calories and she was able to somehow recover from binge eating while counting calories restricting healthily while losing weight which is extremely inspiring to me and i've seen I've a couple of jordan shrinks videos and she's explained she's explained like how she's able to do it and how she was able to do it and i personally i think that honestly some people are just stronger than other people and that's a point blank period. Like you could have five people lined up together, including me. We're all the same size. We all eat the same. We all have the same eating disorder, but some of us are just simply stronger. And some of us are. If you eat the same, you'll all do the same. Assuming your metabolisms are all in line. So are you saying that you're too weak, that you're just not going to succeed because you're too weak? Or weaker. And I Lasagna think does sound pretty one. good. Maybe I'll get some ingredients to make lasagna. I really do. 
I get all my food ideas from Amberlynn now. <laughs> but, um, yeah, you guys might be uh, watching me do mukbangs and stuff, but there's work happening that you guys haven't been seeing. Um, and that's fine. Not all success is visual. Not all success is noticeable unless you are the actual person. So, it's okay. <laughs> so, if she's only binged once this entire month, and she usually binges maybe once a week or something, I would consider that a, that to be like an improvement, right? If she's slowly getting better and not binging. But they need to get to the root of why she's binging. But I think I'm done. We did eat quite a bit. Leftover lasagna. 10 out of 10. Recommend. So yeah, once I get, you know, this thing figured out, like, I do want to do weight loss content, recovery content, content just about my life, fun stuff, makeup, fashion hauls. You can still do, do all those right again. now. I've just been kind of like, okay, I need a break, need a break from vlogging. I very much have been in my head lately with, um, I think my appointments, like, it's just... Topics are being brought up that uh sometimes mess with my my mental a little bit. But anyways, I hope As you well it should. enjoy this mukbang and I will see you in my next one. Bye. Once again, no intro or outro. Um I don't know what y'all think. It's you know, I, I, I feel like a broken record just saying the same thing over and over because she keeps she keeps having the same issue over and over they're not focusing on late on on weight loss they're just wanting me to eat normal yeah because you need to fix what's going on up here before you can fix the rest of it you know yeah you, you need to get over that mental hump and I don't know I didn't speed her up that's why it was it, this video is so long I'm so sorry Maybe I'll speed this up and when I'm editing, but then I'll be speaking faster, which may be good as well. <laughs> um, <clears throat> you know, I just... It's, it's frustrating to watch her keep doing the same things over and over. And, you know, she's getting help. She's seeing the professionals, but she doesn't want to listen to them. I think that's the frustrating part that she's not putting in, that we can see, that, that she's not putting in the work. And I hope she is doing that off camera because all she's showing us is her eating. But hopefully she can just keep working on the mental state and getting the binge eating, figuring out what the root of that is and get that under control and start doing better. That's all I've got for you. I need to get off here and get a bowl of yogurt for breakfast and start working. And I might edit this during lunch. <clears throat> so, until next time, be safe and take care.